Okay, uh, my name is Mohamed Rabwan. I am a technical architect. I will describe today LM lab and test management. This session describes the main steps you will need to use lab and test management. I will not go uh, deep in the details about uh, everything. I just want to summarize and take an overlook from the start uh, to the end of uh, the topic so you can know because when I start uh, reading about uh, lab management I find too much document I can't even know what is the lab management is uh, I, and I feel very fear when, when I treat with lab management it's actually it is very very easy so this session uh, objective is to summarize the steps that you will use throughout your life cycle with lab and test management. So first I will describe uh, how to install and configure lab management 2010. Uh, we will start by installing Hyper-V role on physical machine Windows 2010 R2. Actually Hyper-V is a role. You just enable this role on Windows uh, 2008 R2. Uh, after you enable the role, uh, you will restart your machines. Uh, second step, install System Center Virtual Machine Manager on the Hyper-V machine or you can install of course on another machines. After that, installing uh, System Center uh, Virtual Machine Admin Console on the Hyper-V machine or other machine also and you can of course connect this Admin Console to the uh, Virtual Machine Manager. Use the admin console to add host Hyper-V and configure library. After we install the admin console, we will use the admin console to add one host, which is the Hyper-V machine that we uh, installed or enabled this all, and configure or create a virtual library on uh, our system center virtual machine manager. So we will create uh, library and add a host which is Hyper-V machines and then we will install admin console on the TFS machine uh, TFS machine need admin console so we can uh, treat or can uh, work with uh, lab management install build controller and build agents actually we need to have a build server configured so we can work with lab management in an efficient way. Install test controller. Uh, test controller, especially it is not existing on uh, the TFS media, it is existing on the agent media. Or you will find a CD that has test agent, test control, lab agents, and so on and so forth. So I will install the test control on different machine. It is recommended that you install test control on different machine. Um, Configure lab management from TFS admin console. After uh, you install the admin console on the TFS machine and everything is configured, so you can configure lab management from the admin console. Uh, then you can create templates and put them on the library uh, on System Center Virtual Machine Manager. You start creating virtual machines and installing Windows 7, Windows uh, 8, uh, Windows 2008 R2 and whatever you like and start creating template uh, using the admin console of System Center Virtual Machine Manager and creating template from this virtual machines and put this template on the library so you can use them to create your environments later on. Start using lab management and test management. Now you are ready to use lab management and test management. This is the actual. So let's start by take a look about uh, TFS without lab management. As we can see, that the foundation server here was built server and test controller. So TFS with lab management, you will need to install virtual machine manager, system center virtual machine manager. And after you install, you will install the admin console to and configure the library share that will hold your virtual library and add host, which is Hyper-V machine. You can also add 
many hosts as needed after you create this you will go to the key foundation server and start uh, install the admin console of the system center virtual machine manager and then start configuring the lab you have to remember this must be on the domain controller to work as you can see this is the architecture of the lab management you can see team foundation server here which has lab management and lab management depending on system center virtual machine manager which is has two things host which is a hyper v machine that hosts many many virtual machines and the library shared that has many templates that you can use them to create your environments we can use here we can see here in the library shared that we have stored virtual machine one stored virtual machine two so you use your library to has a template so you can create virtual machine for it or you can store your environment or virtual machine in this library and here is the hyper v which has virtual machine which uh, has lab agent and test agent build agent installed and this also work with test controller and bent controller in order to work we can see here the clients that work with team foundation server is test manager Microsoft test manager NTM or Visual Studio Ultimate Edition here another uh, diagram for the architecture as you can see here the Hyper-V host can have many virtual machines as needed and the library share also it has many library shares not only one library it has many library and this library has the templates that create virtual machine and the uh, stored virtual machine and the environments so this is the main architecture